everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing seven ways you're wearing your sweatshirts and hoodies wrong. And this video was totally inspired by my ways you're wearing your shoes wrong and the ways you're wearing your shirts wrong. You should totally check those videos out after this one. They're just really cool things to learn and, and th this video is going to be the same way. So this was a good time to film this because many of us are wearing sweatshirts and hoodies right now because we are, we are at home in our cozy lounge wear. But even so, who doesn't love a good sweatshirt and a hoodie? Even though I have been known to say that we all have too many hoodies and I, you guys ate me alive for that. So we're gonna embrace them today. And I'm gonna show you new ways to wear them and ways you might be wearing them wrong. So let's get started. So the very first way you're wearing them wrong, and it took me years to figure this out, and I'm just gonna bestow the suggestion upon you because I wish someone would have told me, even though I should have made the connection sooner. And that's just never wearing your hair up when you have a hoodie. I mean, look what is happening back there. It just gets all messed up from the hoodie. I can't be the only one that at the end of the day, after wearing said hoodie, there's a rat's nest back there. So the solution is to wear your hair up when you wear a hoodie. Woo, okay, here we go. Mm, mm. So gone are the days that I just buy hair ties from like CVS. I really recommend like these, they're like teleties. They, they hold your hair really well, I can link them below. I also really like silk hair ties. They prevent the creasing and there's no damage. Um, and it's just, I don't know, people that have a lot of hair, it's like hard to actually get the hair to stay. So. I don't wear my hair up that often, but when it comes to a hoodie, that's the perfect outfit to do it. Oh, and I wanted to mention my earrings because if you're wearing hoodies or sweatshirts, you're covering up this whole area, and I usually love necklaces, but you're covering them up, plus you have your hair up, so it's the perfect time to be wearing some really nice gold jewelry. So these are by Miranda Fry, um, discount code Shay if you end up looking at her site, but there's just about three or four of her earrings that I just kind of have on repeat and I especially love wearing with my hair up and a sweatshirt or hoodie. The next way that you're wearing your sweatshirts or your hoodies wrong is not figuring out what you prefer because there are so many different styles and preferences out there uh, and some can actually be catered to your body type. So for example, if you're just really, really short, an oversized sweatshirt, there's many out there, it's just gonna look like a dress on you. Um, it's gonna look like Ariana Grande, which she's cool, so I don't know. You could do that, but maybe you, this is your problem area. Maybe your stomach is your problem area, in which case there's a lot of sweatshirts out there that have an elastic waist. Like they have a tendency to kind of like come in and that's going to emphasize your problem area and you might want one that's a lot more flowy. Uh, maybe you like the cropped look. This is kind of just in the middle. It's, it's not oversized, it's not cropped. Let's try cropped. Okay, so when I ordered this, I didn't know it was cropped. Honestly, I'm not mad at it though. I kind of like it. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, really cute. It's really cute. So there's just so many different styles out there and I think it's really cool to find what is best for your, your needs or your preferences. And I also wanna point out tie-dye. There is something about tie-dye sweatshirts right now. I'll insert a few photos of them. I'm loving this subtle tie-dye look. So I'll link some of my favorites below because that, that's what I wanna order now. Like I'm just so obsessed and I thought, it's definitely a trendy thing and I just thought I'd mention it. So that leads me to the next way you're wearing your hoodies and your sweatshirts wrong and that is by never embracing the matching set. Hello, this is the next day. I'm filming the B-roll, the B-roll for this video where I, I do footage over top of me talking and I would just like to say that all day yesterday when I was filming the video that you are currently watching, I was developing a headache and I've been doing so well with headaches. I think it was a hormonal one, but I am feeling so much better today. So much better. <laughs> Matching sets are all the rage right now. They're so on trend. I love them. I can link some of my favorite sets below. I might even be ordering a few, the tie-dye ones. They're just so easy too. Not only are they on trend, but they're just easy. There's no thinking required. It immediately looks good and matches. So next time you're potentially ordering a sweatshirt, if it happens to come with the pants too, order the pants. Okay, so another way you're wearing your hoodies specifically wrong. This doesn't really apply to just regular like crew neck sweatshirts, but if there's a hood on your hoodie, 
If you're wearing a jacket, make sure the jacket doesn't have a hood as well. And I don't know why I feel bad even saying this because I'm sure there's a lot of people that do know this, but I still see it. So for instance, this, if, if you're wearing a hoodie, I mean, there's a good chance it's probably chilly outside. So you go to leave. Actually, do you go to leave? I don't know, we're stuck here. But sometimes you still, you need groceries at, at this time. So look, there's a hump. So you have to pull out the hood. And then when you pull out the hood, then you've just got too much hood. So instead, wear a jacket with no hood. And then you just pull it out. And it actually looks so good this way. I love layering hoodies with jackets. You could do it with trench coats. You can do it with army jackets. You can do it with denim jackets. You could do it with leather jackets. There's just so many jacket options without hoods. And I am back with my hair down and I'm, I'm wearing not a hoodie. And it's just, this is my favorite, okay? So this sweatshirt I have had for probably four or five years. It's by l and I love her sweatshirts. I feel like they're just the best sweatshirts out there. I'll be trying on a few for you. I also really love the Walmart crew neck sweatshirts. They're only like 10 bucks, so I can link those as well. But the next way that you are wearing them wrong is never mixing weird combinations. And to that, you might be like, what the heck are you talking about? And if you know me at all, we're gonna insert a blazer into this section because I really think blazers can be a great combination with a sweatshirt and I'll show you now. Oh man, okay, and look, my cat appeared in that. I feel like everybody always mixes t-shirts with blazers, but you can also do sweatshirts, especially if there is a graphic design going on. I feel like it's a nice little edgy look and it's extra warm too. And here is just a light blazer to show you that you can even do this in the spring and summer months. If you went with a light sweatshirt as well, that would be even better. Although I just really love this rad sweatshirt. It reminds me of Prada. Again, it's L&M, but I just really like it tied in with this beige blazer. Kitster. I need that sweatshirt. What What are you what are you doing? Thank you. I set it down for 1 second and now look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're on to oversized sweatshirts and how you're wearing them wrong and I'm wearing tie-dye. I just love it so much. And I definitely bought this oversized. This is a size large. Usually I'm a small or a medium, but the way you're wearing them wrong is if you just literally wear it like that. I mean, you could again, insert Ariana Grande, but there's some tricks that you can do to really pull this off even better. And I did mention this in my ways you're wearing your shirts wrong. So again, watch that video after this. There's so many other cool tricks, but one of my favorite tricks is to take a hair tie and put it right towards the bottom of your sleeve and then pull up your sleeve. And then that way, when you bunch your sleeves, it will always stay up and won't continuously be falling down. And I love this trick, especially with oversized sweatshirts, if you do wanna have some ruching sleeves. Another thing that I like to do with my oversized sweatshirts is tuck it in on one side. And I think it's just because when it comes to an oversized piece of clothing, there's just all this extra fabric and you can kind of get lost in it. So if you just tuck it in on one side, it kind of reveals your body shape just a little bit, but still gives you the oversized look that is really in style right now. So the next way that you're wearing your hoodies or your sweatshirts wrong is up for debate. I'm not saying this is right or wrong. Um, comment below what you think. This is serious stuff, guys. Just kidding, it's not at all. This is pretty stupid at the end of the day, but apparently there's a big debate out there on whether you should wear a sweatshirt with shorts. And I would just like to say, this is the first time that I'm putting these shorts on this year. They are the best shorts ever. They're by a gold or a gold day. I don't know, they're the best though. Anyway, my personal opinion is I love mixing sweatshirts with shorts. I think it just kind of aligns with my style of mixing and matching things that don't necessarily go together, but you might think completely otherwise. So I'm seriously curious what your opinion is on that. It's like, do you wear leggings as pants or is that bad? Everyone has their own opinion. Um, I would maybe advise against wearing really, really, really short shorts and having the sweatshirt look like a dress. But again, insert Ariana Grande. Who knew she was gonna have such an impact on this video? But I can't argue with her, so. 
Anyway, that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll link my other videos of ways you're wearing your clothes wrong. It's all in good fun, but I really do think there are some cool tips and tricks. So I'll see you very soon in one of these videos. Bye.